All right, QDB version two. Let's check it out. We have a brand new design. You can search projects and you can group projects by show. Here is the new Q overview and the new Q details view. When creating a new project, selecting the project type will provide feature sets tailored to the project's needs. Here you can fill in your project's details. We've also reimagined the recording sessions page with significant changes to the recording projects view. Now let's check out some of our most requested feature updates, including adjustable column width, pretty nice. You can now pin a column to the left or right side of the table and it will remain in place. You can reorder columns using drag and drop, or you can make columns disappear completely. Change your mind? No worries, it's still here. You can filter cues by clicking the column header and selecting the filter tab. You can sort cues by clicking the column header title. You can now import Excel and CSV along with all the options that were already present in version one. Let's paste some logic markers. Press preview, and if everything looks correct, press import. And there's your queue list. We've also redesigned our export functionality. Let's check out the PDF. It's ready to be printed or sent to your team. Another top feature request was customizable statuses, and here they are. You can now add unlimited statuses and rearrange them however you want. You can customize substatus, and we have 90 status colors to choose from. We also have status settings for orchestration, recording, mixing, music editing, and more. Let's dive deeper into the recording projects page. You can view multiple recording sessions at once. You can move starts between sessions or within sessions, and it will estimate completion time as you go. You can focus on one session or hold the shift key to select multiple sessions. You can add take notes and ratings, five stars. Once a queue is recorded, you can mark it completed and it will update completion times for the remaining queues. Date and time settings can be shown for your time zone or for where the session is taking place. These were just a few of the more than 150 new features now available in version two. Thanks for watching.